Welcome back. With many staying home as the battle against the coronavirus continues, cell service and the promise of new 5G internet speed is gaining a lot of attention. In tonight's special Full Circle report, I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern began looking into the issue earlier this year. She found as towers go up, it's creating tension among cell phone companies, cities, and homeowners. People talk about this as the fourth industrial revolution. 5G technology, boasting internet connections of less than a second. 5G is gonna be the most important network of the 21st century. So what does building that network look like? For Treasure Island, homeowner Kevin Nichols says, a mess. There was no knowledge of it to all the owners here by the city or Verizon. This poll called a small cell is not 5G. It's actually 4G. But Verizon says polls like this are laying the foundation for 5G. Small cells can be mounted to existing utility poles and street lamps or stand alone like this one. We don't want this tower physically here. Nichols says residents at these condos received no notice and had no say before the pole went up right in front of their homes. It was up within a day and a half. So we actually came around, put a car here in front, thinking that we were gonna block it. We were there when homeowners were finally able to speak up at a city commission meeting after the tower was already installed. That's unbelievable. We got no choice. It's not fair. But why did no one know? Back in 2018, the FCC put rules in place to limit the ability of city leaders to regulate these polls, saying it could prohibit deployment of 5G. Now, the Florida League of Cities is suing the state in an ongoing legal fight to take back local control. And there always has been a tension between national communications policies and um, local zoning. We wanted to talk with an expert on 5G, and Tom Wheeler is just the guy. Wheeler was chairman of the FCC under President Barack Obama. Now, he's with the Brookings Institution. How did we ever imagine that we would be streaming Netflix on our smartphones? A quick history. 1G was, wow, I can make a phone call from anywhere. It was the original uh, uh, mobile cellular. 2G brought texts and picture messages. 3G, internet on our phones. And 4G gave us apps and video we use today. 5G is probably, however, the greatest revolution of any of the Gs. And 5G promises to support new technology like virtual reality and self-driving cars. Right now, 5G is being tested in cities across the country. For Verizon, that includes New York City, Los Angeles, Houston, and Lake Nona, a community you may have never even heard of. Located on the outskirts of Orlando, it's home to thousands of residents, medical innovation, and startup businesses. I think of the Lake Nona community as a futuristic bubble that's already testing new technology, like self-driving shuttles. That shuttle, called Beep, connects Lake Nona neighborhoods to the town center. It doesn't run on 5G yet, but there's hope it could in the future. And that's why we call ourselves a living lab. Actually, uh, a lot of our residents actually call themselves citizen scientists, which is super interesting because they want to participate. They want to give us their feedback. Juan Santos works for the company that developed Lake Nona and is now partnering with Verizon to test 5G. What will 5G help us do? Why should we care? So we don't know. Now, we have good building blocks. After all the talk about 5G, we wanted to test it on Santos's phone. So as you can see, we have a 5G icon. This is my first time seeing yeah, it. Yeah, it. it was my first time when we actually saw it here too. Santos downloaded an episode of a TV show. Yeah. Press it and yeah, it's 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 done. Done. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Wow. In a fast connection, it takes 30, 30, 35 seconds and you're getting it in a second or less. But there's a catch. Let's go. When you're out of the line of sight of the 5G small cell, we've noticed a significant slowdown. You lose 5G service just around the corner from the small cell. Yeah, and we're at 4G already here. In order for everyone to be on 5G, we're gonna need a lot more of those small cells. Back in Treasure Island, homeowners worry about the health impact. Concerns brought to this Verizon rep. Take our technology and mold it 
until we know just what this health hazard is, this radiation, uh, I, I think we should definitely put a hold on it. I have a two and a half year old son. I'm very concerned about his health. Verizon says it complies with all FCC safety standards and told the I team it does not share the locations of our network infrastructure for security reasons. In this email Verizon sent to the city, the company says their equipment poses no known health risks. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization just announced it is conducting a health risk assessment from exposure to 5G. Nichol says he understands you can't stop progress, but worries about what it could mean for his community. We're not standing in your way of moving forward technologically, but this location is unacceptable. Again, everything in this story took place before social distancing orders due to coronavirus. Now, residents in Treasure Island, they say they understand the need for faster mobile internet, especially during a crisis, but say they want local communities to be included in the process. In Tampa, Kylie McGivern, ABC Action News.